Shalom. Prophesying to the wind reloaded will be with you live on AM 1370 WLTH Radio every other Sunday from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. You don't want to miss it. We'll see you there. Just, just to sidetrack a little bit, because we talking about fixing the broken black community and us, and us continuing to celebrate these holidays. We're not fixing the broken black community. We, we making things worse for ourselves. Right. So, we, we this Gary. We live in Chicago. All of these things, all these murders and shootings and killings that go on in our communities, and all these murders and stuff go un, go unsolved. But then, when you look at the, uh, I think somebody posted a, a link. To a video where they were showing that the police are able to look at the cameras and pinpoint how much traffic going in and out of a house. They able to zoom in and actually get a it, it show a red line around right. around the people in the path and all of that. So you can you mean to tell me this technology you can do all of that but you can't solve a murder? Bring it out when a murder happened. All these cameras that's on the the street lights, all these cameras that's within our community. Somebody get murdered, you can't find a murderer. Right. Something ain't right that that shows you we are we are in a trap. We living in a trap. The neighborhoods we in we living in they are traps, and they don't they don't care to get us up out of there. They the these everything is set up for us to stay at the bottom. As long as we breaking God's commandments, as long as you celebrating Independence Day, we're gonna stay at the bottom. Uh, read on. And we're now united, free. And independent states. So you, the United States of America was now united, was now united, free and independent from Great Britain. Not us, because we was they slaves. Now let's get that definition. Is that it all? Hold on, officer. So one of the things that uh, the United States actually wanted to do is they wanted to have it. Uh, they wanted to really be independent from. Great Britain in order to keep slavery going because it was their main cash cow. So we got to understand that 4th of July is really about America promoting slavery and trying to keep that cash cow going. That's how America was built. It was built off of us being in chains and bonds and building up America. So it, it has nothing to do with us because we was the one that was in those fields. We was the one that was literally being persecuted every single day. That's it. And then when then when you what what the officer brought out is actually exactly true. But when you research these things online, the, a lot of this stuff online they change it. They change it over time. So you have a hard time finding out finding that that real information unless you go find a book. Or you dig real deep. If you go look, if you look on the surface level, they actually changed the narrative to say that they was uh, free, trying to break free from Great Britain because Great Britain was the ones trying to enslave them. Absolutely. That's what a lot of the articles say now, today when you read them. But they updated those things. They try to change the narrative to make to try to make it look uh, appear to be something that is not. Right. Read that. Independence Day is commonly associated with fireworks, parades, barbecues, carnivals, fairs, picnics, concerts, basketball games, family reunions, political speeches, and ceremonies, in addition to various other public and private events celebrating the history, government, and traditions of the United States. Read the last part again. In addition to various other public and private events celebrating the history, government, and traditions of the United States. Read Colossians 2 again. Because what the Bible just told us, we just read it in the Bible that it says. Read it. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the traditions of men. So, so right now you're celebrating in Independence Day. You have been spoiled by the philosophy of men. Right. You are spoiled in the traditions of the United States that has nothing to do with us. 
nothing, absolutely nothing. In, in no way, no shape, no form. Because they don't even look at the, all of the things that, that was uh, enacted while we was in slavery. Physical slavery, we was serving a hard bondage. Those things are still prevalent today. That's right. It's just hidden. It's, it's disguised. It's, it's, it's filled with more deceit so that we, right. don't, we don't evidently see it with our eyes. We've been destroyed. That's the only reason we don't got yokes of chain around our neck. That's the only reason we don't got them yokes of chain because they have destroyed us mentally. We are destroyed mentally, so that we're thereby we are oppressed. Get Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 29. We are destroyed mentally, so they it's, they no longer need to have the chains on them. Because many of our people, even we reading out the, we showing you what the Bible say, and our people still will rebel and be stiff-necked against what the Bible is saying. Right. right. The Bible is very evident and it's clear on this, the conditions that we in and why we in those conditions. And what we got to do to get out of the conditions. And that's what we're showing you. But our people don't want to hear it. But read that. Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28 goes into the curses. The curses that's on the Israelites, which is the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, because we broke God's commandments. What's one of them curses? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 29. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind grope in darkness. So it's saying we're going to grope at noonday as the blind grope in darkness. Grope is another term like you search around. You're looking around like a blind man. Like a blind man, they got the stick. They need the stick to kind of feel around the, as they walking through the streets and they, they use the stick to feel around to make sure they don't run into a wall, go off into a street and get hit by a car. That's the same, that's what that's what it's referring to. Now people grope at noonday, meaning we blindly look around, going into religions, going into philosophies, going into the uh the nation. We go into everything blindly. Read. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Everything we go into, we will not prosper in our ways. We we uh we got our young men that go on the basketball court from 7 a.m. to 5 a.m. practicing so they could be a 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. practicing all day so they could be the best at basketball so they can get on the basketball team. Right. Hey, you might get you might get drafted, you might get selected, but you're still not gonna prosper in your ways. Now you're a slave to the owner of that basketball team. Right. Now you you do his bidding. You speak anything. You you kneel. You do anything against what that that um uh, that corporation say. They gonna cut you off. Thanks. Cut you off. No questions asked. That's slavery. Just because you're getting a big check, just because you're getting big money, that don't mean you you done free. You only got free from it. Right. You still a slave. That's that's what it say. That's what the Bible means when it say you shall not prosper in your ways. Read. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoil you evermore. And no man shall save thee. Read 28. That's what I want. I want 28. Verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. So it says, the Lord shall smite thee with madness. That madness is it's going referring to a psychological defect that's in that's on the Israelites. Uh, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we have a psychological defect because we've been destroyed as a people. Right. We've been all of these different things been beat into us. And now we just do it freely because we have a psychological psychological defect in our mind by the, by the captivity that we've been in. They beat everything up out of us. So now we just follow along with the, the traditions of our oppressor because we don't want to be uh we don't want to be different, so to say. We don't want to separate ourselves from them because we fear the judgment that's gonna come behind it. You gotta you wanna bring something up? Yeah, I gotta preach something real quick. Give me Lamentations 4 17. Because our people, we we truly we truly suffer from Stockholm Syndrome. We've been beat down by this nation, by these people that claim they love us for so long. Our, our great grandmothers and grandfathers, they love this nation. And they taught us how to pretty much carry on that same tradition. And we go out and vote. We celebrate their holidays. We walk hand in hand with them. And we think that we're free. So give me that real quick. Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 17. Uh -huh. As for us... Our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. So God said, as for us, our eyes have yet failed for our vain help. Because we sit here and we cry out, hey, we want voter uh, voter registration rights. But we got to go for that. That act got to get passed for us all the time. Why isn't that when we came out of slavery, we just can't vote? Why, why haven't we got reparations? Why we got to fight for everything we have for people that claim that this... These constitutional laws is, is equal for us, but it's not. Read it again from the top. As for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. Uh -huh. 
in our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. How long have we been watching for a nation to, to help us out, to, to, to give us reparations, to give us uh, equal housing, to give us uh, equal pay in our jobs, but we still don't get those things. Like the officers are bringing out, we getting shot down in the streets. They are filming on, on camera. Someone will have their phone filming us getting killed. And the police will go through the, they'll get locked up. Then they'll get bonded out. They'll get a GoFundMe page from their cronies, that's white supremacists. And then they'll go through the trial and they'll get found not guilty. Or they'll get a slap on the wrist. And we'll be we'll, we'll be uh, in the streets happy about that. Or or we'll tear, tear down the streets. And that's what this scripture is going into. We'll tear down into. Our, our community. Right, we'll tear down our community. We're, we're not going to go to their communities and tear up anything, but we're going to tear down our community. We'll get shot down by the police, but we won't turn. We won't. We 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 won't even turn a finger to lift up against them. But right. against our own brothers and sisters, we'll shoot them down the streets. In Chicago last weekend, it was seventy four people getting shot. Yep. And and, and this weekend is it, it, going on the same trend. And this is because of that lost identity. And here we are celebrating the independence of this country, thinking that we're independent. We're still oppressed. We're still being oppressed by the by our oppressor, and we're oppressing each other. Read that. Independence Day is commonly associated with fireworks, parades, barbecues, carnival, fairs, picnics, concerts, basketball games, family reunions, political speeches, and ceremonies in addition to various other public and private events celebrating the history, government, and traditions of the United States. Independence Day is the nation is the national day of the United States. So the independence just because we live in America, just because we live in the United States, don't mean that this is our national day. Because it's not. It has nothing to do with us. Let's get that definition of independence. Because we gotta, we gotta really understand what independence mean to actually move forward. This is a process of us renewing our mind, of us changing, not being conformed to this world. Read that. Also, independency, the definition of independence, the state or quality of being independent, uh -huh. freedom from the control, influence, support, aid. Or the likes of others. So just think about that for one quick second. Is the so-called black man, Hispanic man, and Native American Indian man, are we free from the control and influence and support aid of the United States of America? Right. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We still we still on welfare. We still getting uh WIC, which is women, women, infant, and children. We still gotta go to our enemies to get anything that we need. Our food, everything. Let's get that out the Bible. Deuteronomy 28. We're gonna read Deuteronomy 28 and 48. It says, independence is the freedom from the control, influence, support, aid, or the like of others. Right now, we are not, we don't fit that description. We are still under the the, the chains of America. Right. We can't do what we want to do. If we you, you, and you can see that over history, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Black Wall Street. Every time we do try to get together and get something, what they do? They bomb us. We just found out yesterday they uh, destroyed our communities that we was building in, and then got and now they rivers and ponds throughout the nation. But they there was once cities that was ours that we was trying to build in, but they destroyed it, got rid of it. And now it's a pond where you know you would if you if 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 the information didn't come out or you didn't research it, we would never have known those things. Right. We are still under the control of America. We can't do what we want to do. Every right. time we try to band together and do what we want to do, even even us as we keep in the commandments, they label us a hate group. Right. Yeah. And we ain't we ain't never lifted a finger and hurt nobody, harm nobody. But we labeled a hate group. Right. So it's teaching about it. And all we're doing is teaching what the Bible. What the Bible tells us to do. Read that in Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So we're going to serve our enemies. This is a curse. We're serving our enemies right now in America. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger. In hunger. We got to go to our enemy when we want to eat. We got to go to a uh, county market. We got to go to Jewels, Walmart. We don't own none of that stuff, but that's what we got to go to get our food. Read. And in thirst. And thirst. Water. We got to pay a water bill. 
You got to go to the store and buy Dasani, uh, Pure Life, Aquafini, Ice Mountain. If, if you if you're a little bit more on the healthy side, Eternal, uh, Aquamore, all right. these. We had to go to our enemies to get water, which come freely out of the earth and out of the sky. You don't pay your water bill. And you don't pay your water bill, what's going to happen? They going to come out there. They may give you a, a, a two-day, five-day grace period, but you don't pay that water bill, they cutting it off. And then when they cut it off, you didn't have them. This is the crazy thing about it. You don't have the money to pay the bill. Mm -hmm. So if they cut it off, now you got to pay a $100 deposit to get it cut back on. Right. That ain't independence. <laughs> That's slavery. I didn't have it, so let me get this straight. I don't have the money to pay you the initial bill, but then you cut it off, and then for me to get it cut back on, I got to pay my bill and a $100 deposit to get it cut back on. That's what you call being dependent on somebody. Exactly. You're depending on the other nations to supply you the things that you actually need for survival. Right. So one of the things, it, can you read that definition again? The definition of independence. Also, independency. Oh, second. The second number two freedom from the control influence support aid or the like of others it says freedom from the control meaning we are still being controlled by what the government is actually wanting us to do it says influence we are influenced by what how are we influenced today media tv everything the way the, the, the reason the main reason our people act the way they act it's because they're being influenced by what the media is being pushed today. Right. Give me a, a real quick, give me a Proverbs 3, Bring it out. Because it says we're influenced. Back in the, uh, uh, when we researched the scriptures, we was the one that was actually doing the influencing. We was the one that was setting the trend. Right. So why are we being influenced today? Read what you got. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Uh -huh. Envy thou not. The oppressor. You see what God says? He says, Envy thou not the oppressor, read. And choose none of his ways. Choosing none of his ways goes into everything that America pushes, right? So you got birthdays, Christmas, Valentine's Day, 4th of July. God says, Stop envying your oppressors. The Lord gave us days in the scriptures that the officer was actually talking about earlier. He gave us high holy days for us to actually enjoy ourselves. Right. Days that we can celebrate the seven days. Right. But yet we want to take one day that has absolutely nothing to do with us because they wanted to keep us in slavery. They wanted to keep us in bonds. So we, we, we're looking for influence, support, aid, and or the like of others. We want to be accepted. That's why we uh, keep pushing, uh, pushing that holidays right. because we want to be accepted with them. That's it. Hey, hey Alex, can I ask something? Go ahead. Hey, uh, give me song. First, give me uh, Habakkuk 2 and 12. Because here it is that the United States, right? They they put us in chains. Then they had to fight for their independence to keep us in chains. Then they built a nation on top of blood. Because they came over here and killed the whole civilization. Give me Habakkuk 2 and 12. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 12. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood. So the Most High God says, woe to him that what? Buildeth a town with blood. They ain't just build a town, they built towns. They built the whole country. Actually, they built it on top of the whole world. Bring it out. So it's a double whammy woe for them. Read on. And establish a city by iniquity. And establish a city by iniquity. But we want to we wanna be joined hand in hand with this man. The Most High God says, woe. Woe to him. So if you want to... Be hand in hand with him, you're gonna get that same destruction. Give me Psalm 73 and 3. You're gonna get that same destruction. So you the most high God told us to come from out from among them. But we wanna we wanna assimilate with them, thinking that thinking that we could change this man. This man was designed to be a a, 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 a destructive force on this earth. And we have to separate ourselves from him. Give me that. Psalm chapter 73, verse 3. Huh? For I was envious at the foolish. Because this man that has established a city with blood, he is a foolish man. And we are very envious of him. Read on. When I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Because, you know, we like these flashy things. We want to be just like them. We want the riches that they have. Mm. We want to we, we wear the, the, uh, their, their hair. You know, we want to bleach our skin. Right. We want to celebrate their holidays. But these are foolish things. The most high God says to separate ourselves from that. 
Or are you going to get that same destruction that he's going to get when the black Messiah touched back down on this earth? That's, that's right. right. And he's going to stump out the yard with his big black feet. That's, that's right. all I had, officer. So real quick, just to go a little bit, a little bit more into what uh, Officer Hosea just brought out, because what does uh, this this nation say? They are a uh, Christian nation, right? right they're right, a godly right. nation. They follow the Bible, right? So let's get Deuteronomy chapter nineteen and fourteen mm. to go. If they if if this land is so Christian and so about the Bible, let's read this because we are, we understand that our Native American brothers was here. Native Americans and Hispanic, they was already here on this side of the world. Mm -hmm. And the Spaniards and the, the conquistadors, they came over here to this side of the world knowing that we were here. They knew who we were when we, they came over here. So if this is such a Christian nation and they, they live up to the standards of the Bible, read that real quick. Deuteronomy chapter 19, verse 14. Thou shalt not remove thy neighbor's landmark. So it says, thou shalt not. That's a commandment. Right That's now. a law. Right. Thou shalt not. Do what? Remove thy neighbor's landmark. Thou shalt not remove thy neighbor's landmark. When they came over here, they came over here and stole this land That's right. from the Native Americans, Fast. from the Hispanics. That's removing your neighbor's landmark. Read. Right. Which they of old time have set in thy inheritance. This was their inheritance. They came over here and set up shop. Hispanics. They came over here. You know, they spread out throughout North, North Central and South America. Right. And then the the uh, conquistadors, the Spaniards, they came over here. The Englishmen, they came over here and removed the nation, removed the neighbors' ancient land. They broke this commandment, but they supposed to be about the Bible. They came right. over here with the Bible, right? Right. This Bible ain't got nothing to do with them. They don't regard the, the laws of God. Read, which thou shalt inherit in the land that the Lord thy God giveth thee to possess it. So this is just further proof. They don't, the, this nation does not regard the Bible. Right. They can put it up, they put it up all they want, but they don't regard it. And we're going to continue to show that because you have Independence Day, but then the Bible is like, we're going we to go into it. The Bible has days that we're supposed to celebrate, feast days, that we're supposed to get together and have the fun mm -hmm. and enjoy one another's company. But we so consumed with what America got set up that we don't even think to look in the Bible and see what the Bible tells us to do. Right. So go to, um, from, Go back to Deuteronomy 28, 48. Did we finish that? Mm -hmm. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed so thee. So the last part of that verse is very important. Because it said we're going to serve him for, in hunger, for, for our food, for in thirst for our drink, for what we want to drink, to, to satisfy our uh our thirst, to not be dehydrated, so to say. And in nakedness, our clothes that's on our back, and in one of all things, you want to get a birth certificate. You got it, somebody died, you gotta get a death certificate. You wanna get a house, you wanna get an apartment, you wanna get some buy some land. We gotta go to our enemies to get those things. And it says, and he shall put a yoke of iron on their neck. They put that yoke of iron on our neck when they brought us over here. When they came over here and conquered the Native American Indians and the Hispanics, they put yokes of iron on their neck, right. put them in servitude, colonialism. They took their land, and it says, until he have destroyed thee. We not walking around with chains on our neck right now because we destroyed. Right. We cycle, we got, so we, we, have, we, are, we, we, we are walking with psychological defects because we walking in a way that's contrary to the Bible. Right. We're not walking according to how we're supposed to walk. We're not walking... Knowing who we are, we yeah, that's, those are all psychological defects, but that's all right because it's being reset right now. That's right. As you hearing these words, as we even as we hearing the words, we teaching ourselves. Our minds is being reset back to our God, that's back right. to doing what He required us to do. Right. That's the purpose of this. Get group three and eight, group chapter three and eight. We have to understand that this 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 place. Is not our rest. That's right, these right. holidays that you celebrate the in and out, July Fourth, all these are not our rest. Right. Because you got one, you get this one day, and you get they give you a day off, and then you got to go back to work at one o'clock in the morning. Right. Your, your day off is cut short. You really didn't have a day off. Because right. now you got to you got to cut your little celebration, so to say, short because you got to go back to work early in the morning. And don't drink. And then if you drink, you, hey, you drink, you, you gonna go back to work and you be miserable. <laughs> 
because our people don't know how to drink moderately. They drink to the point where they don't have a hangover the next day. I over drink and lose your job. Yeah, over drink, lose your job. You go to the work smelling like liquor. So these are these are various things that set up against us. Read that in Baruch 3 and 8. Baruch chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. This is speaking about us even today. We are yet this day in our captivity. We are still in our enemy's land, calling ourselves African American, colored, Afro American. Today, predominantly, we call ourselves African American, but over the years, we've called our name, our nationality has changed every 10, every 10 or so years. We are in our enemy's land. We are still in the captivity, read. Where thou hast scattered us. We have, we have been scattered by the Most High. We scattered across the world, read. For a reproach and a curse. So it says for a reproach and a curse. That's what we live in right now. That's why our communities are full of abandoned buildings, trash everywhere. Right. We killing every, we killing each other. We selling drugs to each other, killing each other. We smoking cigarettes, smoking black and miles, drinking and getting drunk day in and day out. We got uh, wine old drug addicts walking that's consumed in our community. These things are not to be, but this is this is a part of the curse. Read. And to be subject to payments. And to be subject to payments. We are subject to payments. So if the thing that the, we subject to payments, and that goes real deep. You got a phone, if you got a phone bill, you late, they hit you with a late charge. And, and the same thing I brought out, if I wasn't able to pay it on time, what makes you think I'm gonna pay and be able to pay it with a late charge? We subject to take that's cat, that's called being captive. You're not, we are dependent on the other nations. You got a light bill, uh, water bill, gas bill, whatever type of bill you got. Sometimes they show you a little mercy. They give you a grace period. You probably can go a couple of months without paying it. But then when that time comes, you get that pink, pink slip in the mail. Pay it by this time or it's getting cut off. Right. Contact us. Then you contact them. You got to put something down. And then it's like an extra charge. If I wasn't able to pay it, how are you going to charge me more? What makes you think I'm going to be able to pay it? Oppression. And That's still, oppression. And still, we're going to celebrate independence. Then we're independent. Right. And we still go on and just willy-nilly, blindly go on and just celebrate the holidays. Celebrate Independence Day like we independent and we far from it. And this, this message is for you that think you got it all together. You got your little nice car. You got your house on house in the... Uh, and, and, and the, your big house in the suburbs, we're talking to you too, because you're still subject to payments. You, 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 may be, you may be a little bit better off than some of your people, but right. you are still subject to payments. You still fit these curses. This is, this is for you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You have to understand these things. Uh, is that it on that? According to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our God. So we are going with, this is the dealing with from our father down to us, from generation to generation, we 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 still suffering the curses because of our our disobedience to the commandments of God. Nehemiah chapter nine verse thirty six. Behold, we are servants this day, and for the land that Thou gavest unto our fathers to eat the fruit thereof and the good thereof, behold, we are servants in it. So we got what we got to remember is the curses that's in De that's listed in Deuteronomy twenty eight. It go, it follow us every any any time during history. Because in Nehemiah, this is a different time. This is a different captivity. But we were always when we broke God's commandments, we faced these curses. So what Nehemiah was written right here in Nehemiah, we see it today as well. Read it again. Behold, we are servants this day, and for the land that Thou gavest unto our fathers to eat the fruit thereof and the good thereof. Behold, we are servants in it. We are servants. Right now, we don't even, a lot of us don't even know that our homeland is Jerusalem. Right. That our homeland is Israel. We are right. servants. We got another another bastard nation that's in our land. Right, right. Read. And it yieldeth much, and it yieldeth increase unto the kings whom thou hast set over us because of our sins. So it, it, the, the fruit of our land is, is yielding fruit to our enemies. Because why? Because we celebrate, we want to celebrate Independence Day. Right. We want to do everything but what the Bible tells us to do. Right. That's what we we have to come up out of that mindset. We got to come up out of that mindset. That's the only way we're gonna see the black community get fixed. And when I say black, I'm talking about the blacks, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, because we are the same people. Right. 
we are the same people. Let's from there, let's do it some more. It's more read. And it yielded much increase unto the kings whom thou hast set over us because of our sins. Also, they have dominion over our bodies. They have dominion over our bodies. They control what we eat. That's why in our neighborhoods, we got the bottom of the barrel uh, stores where we eat nothing but junk and garbage. Right, right. They kill us, they, 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 which is the reason why, of the, of, of a big, a huge reason why different diseases plague our community. Right. We got, we obese. Right. We got uh, cancers and and all type of stuff. All of the stuff, believe it or not, it come from the food that we eat day in and day out. Right. We eat filth. You eating, you eating your, your chitlins and your, your uh, pig feet, shrimp, yeah. crab, lobster. You eating all those things, that stuff is killing you. And even if you eating, because all of those things are against the dietary laws. And that's another subject. But a lot of times our, we eat those things. And even if we eat, if you, if you say, you know what, I don't eat those things. You overeat. Bring it out. You eat too much. Yep. You eat too much of what's good, for, of what you can eat. And it causes you to be plagued with disease to be overweight we used to scream black power while heroin was pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain iuic has been given a vision the tents of judah has risen many has attempted the mission minor murmuring omitting and missing the mark just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark we on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.